Hello Kerbalots and welcome to Kerbal Research and Snacking Heroes. Yes, this is where we're going to test certain things and we, let's try and get this up. And gear in. This is where we're going to test theories and uh, just contraptions and anything we like. <laughs> I'm just going to use this series to have a bit of fun and perhaps relay a bit of information and history. Right. Ooh, careful with this. It's a bit jiggly. Okay, so what I've got here is a mock-up X-15 on the top of here. And obviously we've got Jebediah in there. And if you guys don't know, the X-15 was the first attempt by NASA to get into space purely for research. Now they need us to know things like aerodynamic forces at high speeds and shock heating. That would happen. This even led to things like the development of a new alloy called, well, a new nickel alloy, which I'm not entirely sure of the structure of it, but that alloy was able to withstand high temperatures of re entry, or at least on shallow re entry. I don't think it would withstand high speed re entry like the shuttle or current spacecraft. However, these craft did not get into orbit, they just went into sort of as suborbital hops and not a very far either. However, they were the first to go quite high. The first aircraft, that is. They weren't the first to get into space, though. The first man in space was Yuri Gagarin, and, well, obviously, you know the story. I think it was a year later until NASA were able to get the X 15 into an altitude which they could consider space, which there's arguments about that. They say the Kármán line, which is the cutoff point I think it's a hundred kilometers which is the standard that everyone knows about and also the other one was 50 miles let me have a quick look I have the NASA website open here and do -do 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 -do. yes I think it was 15 between someone said 50 miles and Ah oh, well, we'll leave that argument to other people, because we are going to do our own testing. Right, I've got the A300 here, which is going to be our craft, and yes, yes, yes. The X-15 on here is on the top, for those of you who know it all, rather than <laughs> under the wing. I just did not want to build a big aircraft with all these complex wings, and then find out that flips out wouldn't. <laughs> we're unable to get this up aloft. Also, if you're not sure, Crazy contraptions. I've got a decoupler here, some separatrons to push this away because otherwise it'll just fall down, hit the space uh, the aircraft. This will go back for the drop down and should boost off. In theory, if I got the center mass on this ejection, then the then these pylons will eject from this the X-15. Then we'll ignite the rocket and see what our tests bring us. We'll go into a steep dive to start off with. To get through the thickest part of the atmosphere as quick as possible. Now I haven't determined a height that we will eject the X-15 from so I'm gonna suggest um I don't know let's have a look um let's have a look at our vessel uh it uh oh yes my only mech jeb gives us proper information for aerodynamic breathing engines Ah, oh, balls, 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 balls. Right, let's see how we go. Flow. Right, the flow, I think that's the airflow. It's going down, fuel flow. Going down, effective airspeed. We're dropping, okay. So I'm going to say 6,000 meters. And then we'll level off. In fact, let's level off a bit here. Oh, let's get fine control on. Because we seem to be tilting as well. Okay, F. That might be because we got the X-15 on top. Okay, and we're dropping down now. I wanted to go in a less steep climb. you come on. Yes, and this is... This is why we test everything before we send our pilots to the deaths. Yes, we put this in the simulator and we found out that all the pilots die instantly. So we've decided that was enough information for us to come out here and try your hand at it. Come on. Okay, that's nice. Right, what have we got? 
Speed is climbing a bit. Okay, we'll do seven kilometers, seven thousand meters, and then we'll pop the pop the atmospheric cherry. Okay, so what are we gonna try? What what is the purpose of the X15? As I said, it's looking at aerodynamic stresses at high speeds, high max speeds. Now, where is my notes? I worked out that for at Mach 6.7, which was the fastest the X15 went, that's 2,020 meters per second. And the incurable space problem, that's going to get us quite high, so I'm not sure if we're going to get that. But we'll see what we're going to do with it. Okay, I've changed the altitude. Because we seem to be slowing down. 6,500. Because we are slowing down now. That's because the air is decreased by us. And yes, you may have noticed I've got clouds in this game now. So there will be clouds in my new man. Alright, we're at altitude. Are you ready, Jebediah? <laughs> Bill and Bob, not sure. <laughs> but Jebediah is having the time of his life. So, ready, ladies and gentlemen? First off, press zero, which I've got this so we can uh, get actual data on temperature. In three, two, one, disengage. And there it goes. Inject that. Switch to craft. We're coming down. Engage the rocket. And go for the climb. Let's watch the aircraft behind us as we go faster and faster and faster. Come on, Jebediah. We need to go into a steep dive very quickly. Because the idea is to go into a suborbital hop as high as possible, as fast as possible, to see what aerodynamic stresses we'll have on this, so we can develop new technology. The Kerbals can build the same cockpit with the same materials with the same way, so <laughs> the same things happen. Okay, and we lost our temperature because I'm right-clicking too much. Yet we're at 300 degrees. I'm not entirely sure if this temperature is correct. Ooh, that temperature should be rising a lot faster now. A preliminary testing near the ground with this craft. I was finding this craft is going to explode. So be prepared for Jebedi to die. Again. <laughs> and Jebedi has died, ladies and gentlemen. We have killed Jebediah, and we have run out of fuel. Okay, so uh, that wasn't as successful as I was hoping. I was hoping he could survive. Perhaps I should have gone into a steeper climb. Anyway, this information was acquired by NASA, and only one person died. Uh, Michael J. Adams, he died when there was an electrical failure on the cockpit which lost control of some kind. Now there are YouTube videos that goes more into to more information on that where he has been awarded the NASA wings where he isn't uh, considered an astronaut which I think was cool because I'm not sure if he made space but he passed close to space so they decided to honor him that honor. However the first person in the X-15 was a uh, who got into space was, I have to get my notes up again, because I forget names very quickly. Ooh, where is he, where is he, where is he? Yes, Joseph A. Walker. He was the first one to pass the 100 kilometer Carmen line. And I consider him, I suppose, the first American in space. The first... Uh, the second person in space. So, yes. Take what you will from this episode. As Jebediah will rise from the grave because he's got work to do in Mining the Man. And perhaps another episode of Kerbals. What's that called? It? Yeah, Kerbal Research and Snack Heroes. Which spells out crash with a K. Yeah, you got it. I couldn't think of a better name. So, I'm going to leave this crash into the ocean here in a bit of a faster manner and they will call this the first episode so I'm gonna leave a poll by here let me know if you enjoyed this type of episode if you would like to watch something like this well that's spinning crazy out of control 
and then we could develop this further. Yes, Kerbals are not safe in this series, if you prefer this type of series. Anyway, I'm Horabeta, trust me. I'm an engineer! A crash engineer. 